scale that to 2016, so it's probably like 33. For generations, adventurers of all ages and backgrounds have come together with paper and pencil, rolling dice, and stepping into the magical world of Dungeons and Dragons. The tabletop game, created in 1974, offers players a chance to become heroes embarking on quests played out in the theater of the mind with the outcome of battles or events decided by rolls of the dice. It has been played by over 50 million people worldwide, according to the parent company Hasbro, as the game is no longer just for the socially awkward, due to a new rush of celebrities playing D&D. Anybody can play D&D. &D. Um, whether you're an artist and a performer who enjoys like getting into the characters and becoming somebody else and really getting to have that aspect of it. Unfortunately, COC students looking to play on campus will find little offers of space for gaming or access to organized clubs. For those interested, they need to find a different realm. D&D's really hit like the mainstream. Um, I get a lot of new players that have never even thought about playing a role-playing game or any sort of board game just because they see it on YouTube, watch a video or two, they get interested. And uh, for most people, that's all it takes, and they get hooked. For hooked players not interested in playing with strangers, D&D &D can be played in what's called homebrew games, which are games in private homes and backyards just between friends. First time I played was when uh, my uncle decided to play a game with me and his son. So. D&D's appeal is that it offers a chance for anyone to experience fantastic roles and situations. It just really helps you escape the day-to-day -day and just go into this fantasy world with the character maybe that you would like to be. For Canyon's News, I'm Jeff Lozen. I just went to tell you what he knew, or as you guys 